Fort Sam Houston has long been known as the home of Army Medicine, where the Department of Defense has been training medical personnel for over 50 years. Soon, all Air Force and Navy enlisted medical training will relocate to Fort Sam Houston, creating the largest medical training campus in the United States, with an annual throughput of 47,000 students. The campus will be bound by Stanley Road on the west, Schofield Road on the south, Hardy Road to the north, and the Salado Creek floodplain on the east. The transition from an Army Training Center to a Department of Defense Training Center begins with the student's living environment. According to Tri-Service standards, students are to be housed in semi-private rooms that include a bathroom and shower, with no more than two students sharing a room. In order to accommodate the nearly 4,000 new students, METSI requires the construction of three new dormitory buildings, each capable of handling 1,200 students. The three METSI dorms will be constructed on the southeast side of the campus, between Garden Avenue and Williams Road. Outside of the buildings, space is provided for assembly areas, small group physical training, a quarter mile and half mile running track, and large walkways that connect the dorms to the other campus facilities. The construction of METSI dorms 1 and 2 began in summer 2008 and is scheduled for completion by summer 2010. METSI Dorm 3 is scheduled to start in 2009 and be completed by 2011. The METSI Dining Facility will be constructed northwest of the dormitories between W.W. White and Harney Roads. This dining facility will be the largest facility of its kind in the DOD inventory. Construction of the METSI Dining Facility began in 2008 and will be completed in 2010 by the time dormitories come online and the first new students arrive. The establishment of METSI requires the addition of nearly 750,000 square feet of classrooms, medical instruction laboratories, and instructor preparation space. This space will be accommodated in five new medical instruction facilities, or MIF for short. MIF 1 and 2 will be constructed in the open area north of Building 1395, the Fort Sam Houston Club. These two four-story buildings will include 270,000 square feet of classrooms and medical training laboratories and will be architecturally tied together by a common courtyard and entry area. The design theme reflects the image of a modern institution of higher learning and will set the architectural standard for the campus. MIF 3 and 4 will be constructed in the open area east of the non-commissioned officers academy. These two four-story buildings will include 420,000 square feet of classrooms, medical training laboratories, and campus administration offices. The building design will be different from MIF 1 and 2, but will enhance the overall campus architectural theme. MIF 5 will be constructed to the north of the Nursing Science Center. This 40,000 square foot, two-story medical instruction facility will provide general and applied medical instructional space, administrative areas, and automation-aided classroom space. A key enabler to the success of these medical training facilities is a reliable, highly capable computer network backbone. To accomplish this, a new 1,200 square foot computer network switch node or voice and data communication substation is being constructed near the intersection of Hardy Road and Garden Avenue. From here, communications data will be distributed through both the new and existing communications duct banks. To augment the medical training campus, a new AIT battalion complex with multiple projects will be constructed on the northeast side of the METSI area on what is known at Fort Sam Houston as the NATO track. This complex includes two 1,200-person dormitories, a new AIT battalion headquarters, a central energy plant, and a half-mile running track. The battalion headquarters is on the east side of the complex, while the central energy plant is on the west. Each AIT dorm will replicate the METSI dorm except in the central first floor area, where space is designed for two Army AIT company headquarters elements. Covered training areas are included in each courtyard area. In keeping with the METSI integration plan, exterior features will include lighting, extra-wide troop walkways, trees, shrubbery, 
and green spaces, all designed to transition seamlessly into the rest of the new METSI campus. Apart from BRAC, additional work in this area will include several building replacement projects. The demolition of buildings 1379 and 1380 will make room for one more 1,200-person dormitory to replace the building 1350 barracks. The demolition of building 1382 will make room for the replacement dining facility, and the demolition of the building 1377 dining facility will make room for future additional facilities designed to increase the quality of medical training and the quality of life for the students. To round out the METSI campus, several other support facilities are being constructed in and around the campus. These include a headquarters building, a physical fitness center, and a new primary care medical clinic. The new METSI headquarters facility, located on West Campus at Harney and Patch Roads, is a two-story, 20,000 square foot professional office building that was completed and occupied in June 2009. The Air Force and Navy training commanders and their support staff work from these offices. A new physical fitness center or gymnasium is also being added to the METSI campus under the BRAC program. The fitness center will be constructed on East Campus near Williams Road. Construction should start in 2009 and be completed by 2011. To support the large influx of students, faculty and family members associated with METSI and the other BRAC initiatives, a new primary care clinic is being constructed adjacent to the METSI campus on Schofield Road. This two-story, 80,000-square-foot facility will be staffed and equipped to provide primary medical care for up to 48,000 beneficiaries in the areas of family medicine, adolescent medicine, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and behavioral health. The primary care clinic is scheduled for five-day-per-week operations beginning in summer 2010. When construction is completed and students are in residence, METSI will be the largest medical education and training institution of its kind in the world and forever change the way the U.S. military trains to deliver health care.